harpy eagle of Panama to the unicorn of Scotland, here are 18 of the coolest national animals. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. And before we salute our national critters, Sergio Montoya is nice enough to write, always look forward to your videos, keep up the good work. Well, thank you, Sergio, for watching, and thanks to everyone for all the great support out there. Cheers. Number 18, Jafalcon. Did you know this bird of prey is the largest of the falcon species? While it's known to breed along the Arctic coast, an estimated one-third of the animals choose to breed in Iceland, where it's a national symbol. During summer, there's plenty of prey like ducks and other birds that gather around Iceland's thermal pools to provide a feast for the Jafalcon. The fast-moving bird has been prized by falconers and is commonly found in Icelandic folklore. the pine marten. These critters are native to northern Europe and are related to weasels and wolverines and serve as a national symbol of Croatia. In medieval times, this creature's pelts were used for trade currency and for paying debts and was the foundation of the Croatian economy. The animals began appearing on Croatian coins in the 13th century. Vicuña. Llamas might be more strongly associated with Peru, but it's their relative, the Vicuña, that serves as a national animal. The Vicuña appears on the country's coat of arms and lives high in the alpine areas of the Andes. They produce a soft wool that was highly prized by the ancient Incans and still is today. It's very expensive because the animals can only be shorn every three years. Cypriot Mouflon. The Mouflon is a species of wild sheep that is thought to be among the ancestors of all today's domestic breeds of sheep. And in addition to all that, the Cypriot Mouflon is also the national animal of, you guessed it, Cyprus. This subspecies is found only on the island, where it's regarded as the largest wild animal there. Quetzal, the national bird of Guatemala, is one of the most colorful creatures on our list and in the world. The strikingly colored creatures are found in forests and woodland areas, and even with that bright coloration, they manage to stay well camouflaged. While the Quetzal is Guatemala's national bird, the name also refers to the currency. Komodo dragon. While dragons serve as symbol to several nations, this is the only dragon that is actually known to exist. Indonesia's national animal is named after the island Komodo, one of five in which it is found. These beasts are the world's largest living species of lizards, growing to around 10 feet and weighing up to 150 pounds. But the heaviest verified specimen in the wild weighed some 366 pounds. They usually ambush prey like birds and mammals, and they have been known to attack humans. Okapi. You've probably seen this critter show up now and again, and a lot of people think it's actually a Photoshop creation. But even though the Okapi resembles a cross between a giraffe and a zebra, it is a real animal, and is native to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where it's designated as the national animal. At one time, the Okapi was considered to be almost mythical, and it wasn't even photographed in the wild until 2008. the dodo. Now, not many national critters are named after animals that have gone extinct, but if you're going to go that route, why not use the most symbolic of extinct species, the dodo. The flightless bird was endemic to Mauritius, an island in the Indian Ocean, and up until the late 16th century, it had a large population, but the combination of hunting and invasive species introduced to the island decimated its numbers. The last verified reported sighting of the bird occurred in 1662. Baird's taipa. Now this is also known as the mountain cow and is one of four Latin American species of the animal which is distinguished by its long and flexible proboscis. Although it has a bovine appearance, it's more closely related to horses and rhinos. With some of them weighing up to 900 pounds, Baird's taipa is the largest native land mammal of both Central and South America. Because of that size, the animal has few natural predators. 
red kangaroo. Can you guess whose national symbol this might be? Well, there aren't many animals so strongly linked to the native land like the kangaroo and Australia, although koalas might give them some competition. The red kangaroo is the biggest terrestrial land mammal found in Oz, as well as the largest living marsupial. Did you know, roos are good swimmers as well. They're known to jump in the water if pursued by a predator, and if that predator follows them into the drink, the roo can use its forepaws to push the aggressor underwater to drown it. Bengal tiger. This would definitely rank as one of the more recognizable critters on the list. India's national animal actually comprises the most numerous tiger subspecies, and the stripes are one of the most recognizable symbols of the animal kingdom. They're among the bigger cats and can weigh over 700 pounds. Did you know that canine teeth can measure up to four inches long? That gives them the longest canines of any living felid. Bald Eagle. This bird of prey is actually known as a sea eagle and has been a national symbol of the United States since first appearing on the country's official seal in 1782. Founders of the U.S. chose the eagle in part due to their affinity for the Roman Republic for which it stood. The image of the bald eagle holding 13 arrows and an olive branch in its talons appears on many seals of the government and federal agencies. the Tuckin. Now this odd looking creature is related to the musk ox and was named the National Animal of Bhutan in 1985. The big animals can weigh up to 1300 pounds in some cases and are well built for their rugged native terrain in the East Himalayas. As big as they are, these animals are known to balance themselves on the hind legs to feed on leaves around 10 feet above them. Did you know the only confirmed natural predator is the snow leopard? Markor. These animals can weigh nearly 240 pounds and are among the world's largest species of wild goat, ranging from northern Pakistan to the Himalayas. They're identified by the unique corkscrew-shaped horns that spiral out of their heads. It's sometimes referred to as the snake-eating goat, and that's likely due to the name Markor, which is a combination of two Persian words which mean snake and eater. The nickname could also be a reference to the horns, which do have a serpentine shape. Tolima. As is the case with several nations, the national animal of North Korea is a mythical beast. The Kolima is a winged horse found in cultures of East Asia and is said to be too elusive to be caught and ridden by a mortal. Arguably similar to Pegasus, the creature came to symbolize North Korea's plans to swiftly develop its post-war economic agenda. If you make it to Pyongyang, you'll find an impressive 150-foot statue of the animal on Mansu Hill, but don't try to ride it. Fennec Fox. Now this national critter of Algeria has a very outstanding feature or features. Can you guess? Well, it's the ears, of course. They enable the animal to hear prey even if it's underground. And the ears also help the fox dissipate heat. Weighing less than four pounds and measuring around 16 inches as adults, they are the smallest species of canid, even if they look kind of like felids. Their fluffy coats serve to deflect heat during the day and it keeps them warm at night. Harpy Eagle. As far as birds serving as a national symbol, Panama made an impressive choice. The Harpy Eagle is recognized as the most powerful raptor in the Americas. They can weigh around 20 pounds and have a wingspan exceeding 7 feet. As an apex predator, the animals are known to take down prey like sloths and monkeys, often snatching them right out of the trees. Did you know these creatures have the largest talons of any living eagle? And before we get to our number one selection, here's a few interesting critters we noticed while researching the episode, so we're going to include them as honorable mentions. Now, did you know Mexico has a national arthropod, and that's the grasshopper? It's one of the few insects we could find that serve as a national symbol, although Denmark does have a national butterfly, the small tortoise shell. Did you know several countries have the horse as the national animal, and that includes Azerbaijan, Canada, and Norway? And in addition to having the Bengal tiger designated as the national animal, India also has a national aquatic animal, the Ganges River Dolphin. And they also have a national reptile, the King Cobra. 
We also found that lions are popular choices as national symbols. Among other countries, the king of the jungle shows up as the national animal of Belgium, Ethiopia, Iran, Macedonia, and the UK. Did we happen to miss your favorite national critter? Tell us in the comments. So, what's all this? A mythical critter at number one? Well, now look, you have to admit, it is pretty cool, and it is certainly unusual. The legendary creature is well known for its trademark horn extending from its head, and this mythical beast appears on the royal coat of arms of Scotland, and has been the national animal since the late 1300s. The unicorn was chosen because it was a stubborn beast that would rather die than be taken alive, and that symbolized the Scots' fighting spirit to remain unconquered. Did you know there's a small group of Scots that do propose the national animal be changed from a unicorn to the Loch Ness monster? Do you think that's a good idea?